Oh. Take it, run! <laughs> She's got the oh bread. She's got the bread. <laughs> Seriously. You've got the dough. I don't know what to do with it. We're breaking. Let's rewind. Do not go party like it's 1929. Well, it's a rainy day outside here in Edmonton. Nice and warm in the hotel here with the lovely Tara Aram. Is that how you say it? <laughs> we make joke. We make joke. Hey, what's up? <laughs> explain, explain the Terry Aram thing first quickly. We were at a station in the East Coast and it started off as, Good morning, we have Tara Aram in the studio. And it was like, Okay, well, thanks for coming by, Tara Aram. And uh. we were like, Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, you are touring with uh, your second album now. The lead off single, 1929, a very different sound than what we're used to in the first one. Uh, and as you go through the record, you notice you kind of play around with the tracks a bit, and there, there's a whole bunch of different sounds yeah. here. Was that that's what you were going for then? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to, my whole goal was to make it country. And there are a couple songs in there that have a little pop influence, but I wanted to keep the production really country and get more fiddle, steel, and um, some banjo and stuff in there, and dobro, and um, there's there's songs like Pretty Red Dress that are so country, and we didn't need to up the production um, to make it country, because it already was. Um, but it, it definitely has an eclectic vibe to it, but 1929 is definitely the most standout song overall on the song on the album. We gotta get down to the reality of the business here for just a second. Oh, okay. uh, this is Edmonton, this is your last stop on your media tour. Uh, for those that aren't totally familiar with the map of Alberta, um, here's a graphic. Take us through your day yesterday. Okay, we started out in Calgary, then we went to Lethbridge, over to Brooks, to Stetler, to <laughs> Sylvan Lake, yeah. Red Deer. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, how you get there too, is you just, you just kind of nudge your way through. Yeah, and you're like, excuse me, <laughs> and then we ended up in Edmonton. In one day. In one day. <laughs> Whoa. So, for those of you that think that, you know, these artists just have cushy lives and don't actually, you know, work to, uh, you know, try and get their music out to you, prime example right here. Yeah, yeah. Hence the bags under the eyes. Are you trying some new things out there? This album has a complete different vibe. Um, we're having a lot more fun on stage with this album because I... I I made this record, the inspiration was our live show and to how songs would translate well live. And for me, the biggest thing is performing and connecting with the audience and having, an, uh, having, a, having a fun, energetic show. Um, so that's the inspiration behind the album and we're just having a hoot. One more question for you. Um, some artists do it randomly. Some artists actually notice people. The point and wave. You know what I'm talking about? The what? Hey! While you're singing, you know, oh, the, the point yeah. wave, hey! I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I don't know, okay, hold on. That's me, like, hey! <laughs> Usually I'm like, hey! <laughs> but I, uh, I've never done the point wave, I don't no. think. Hey, should I, sh I should try that. Try the I point feel wave. awkward. You, hey, or... Well, yeah, as long as it's natural, because it'll look really bad if you're, like, in the middle of your song and you just, like... Wave, you, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, no, 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 not that guy, no, no, you, hey, <laughs> yeah, that could be awkward. You're going to perform for us now, uh, I don't know if there's going to be uh, any point wave in this one, but to tell us about the song you're going to do for us here. This song is called What If I Was Willing, and one of my favorite songs off the album, it's uh, a song I like to drive to, <laughs> it makes me speed a little bit, um, but I just did a family guy voice, a little bit, the really? uh, Brian, <laughs> Stewie. Uh, sorry. Don't do any more. We gotta pay for it if you keep oh, going. Oh, so, and yeah. then the YouTube will take it down. Yeah, and all the show has stuff. no budget. So. Gosh, um, but it's 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 an up tempo song, and I maybe it'll be a single. I'm not sure, but it's one of my favorites to do. What if I was wearing a sundress, painting my toes on my front? Steps, waiting on someone to run with Oh baby, what if What if you were wanting a restless heart To ride shotgun in your fast car And you pulled up in my front yard Oh baby, what if What if you wanted to feel alive
a smile and said I've missed you And I'd go anywhere with you Then I walked over to kiss you Oh baby, what if? What if you wanted to feel alive? Make something of the time you're killing What if you wanted somebody to love you right? Oh boy, what if I was got here in a heartbeat What if there was room on your front seat Baby, baby, baby What if you wanted to feel alive Make something of the time you're killing What if you wanted somebody to love you right Oh boy, what if I was willing Do it. <laughs> You're such a chicken. <laughs> I flippin' dare you. Is this the ladies' room? <sighs> Do it. Do it. Mike, get out of the kitchen! I was gonna say, that's where Peter needs his theme music. <laughs> I took a jug. You'll be happy with the jug. <laughs> hey, check out the birthday cupcakes. Oh. Take it, run! <laughs> You wanted the bread, take the bread. so good, though. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Go put it back. <laughs> I want to lie on it. Go put it back. <laughs> People got to eat. <laughs> now we can't see what hotel we were at. <laughs> this, is, this is bread from the buffet. Oh my god, guys, you can't do it. Car is a serious recording artist. Hi there. How you doing? Do it now. Oh, you're toast. You're toast. <laughs>